In the past, we have realized that uh, most of the girls come from secondary school with very good grades in the science subjects, with very good uh, mot uh, motivation on the science. But upon joining the engineering courses, they have always felt that that is not for them. So such students, we have taken up upon the, uh, this, the career office to ensure that that dream that they build up from the time when they were in primary school. Remember when we were growing up, when all students are growing up in the lower primary, there are those compositions that he always wrote. When I grow up, I would like to be an engineer. When I grow up, I would like to be a doctor. When I grow up, I want to be one, two, three uh, in the science field. So that is what we look at and we tell them, when you went to the selection of the courses, you had the intention of pursuing a dream that kept building up in you. There is no a uh, reason as to why you should not, I mean, you should feel intimidated. So that's why we come in and ensure that that dream is not lost along the pathway. We have uh, established some uh, programs that we do individual, individual individualized counseling, whereby we pick up a student, we identify the personality traits. Why is it that you, today, when you are at the age where you should now build up this career, you want to drop a dream. So there are certain uh, traits that we follow, there are certain ways in which we involve even the guidance and counselling people to ensure that this child or this student who has come from a childhood where they had the dream of engineering, the dream of a medical student, does not lose track. At UNESCO, you know, being a UN agency with a mandate in science and also education, building the capacities of women is at the core of the organization's aim and vision for Africa. And that is why in Kenya, for instance, we have a very unique program in STEM education where we are linking young girls to women who have risen to the occasion to become inspiration in the country and also in the world. So we have the UNESCO L'Oreal Fellowship Program that recognizes the contribution of women in science. Women who are doing amazing things in the fields of medicine, in life sciences, in physics, in chemistry, in biology, etc. We are linking these women to the young girls in the secondary school so that they can mentor them. We also have a lot of programs in robotics, in artificial intelligence, you know, trying to demystify science to the young girls so that they can embrace it like the way we can see the evidence in the fields of arts and businesses. We have a very vibrant women in technical education chapter that is led by Madame Roda Obande. These are women who are already professionals in engineering and are already encouraging the young ladies who joined the Polytechnic and many others who have not joined the Polytechnic to pursue studies or training programs that are in engineering or what we call STEM, science, technology, engineering and mathematics. I also would like to inform the general public that as Kabete National Polytechnic, we have initiated a program that will sponsor four female students from the underprivileged communities of Nairobi City. These trainees will be drawn from the slum areas, say Kibera, Kawangware, and any other within Nairobi City, on a full scholarship that has been made possible by the Governing Council. When they come here, the trainers will also go out of their way to facilitate expenses for their personal effect. And that's what we are going to do to make sure that we encourage participation of women or female students in science, engineering, or related training programs. We are very happy to inform you that this is one TVET institution where the number of girls in the science, engineering related courses is more than the number of male students. You can even see around me here I am in Applied Sciences Department, and definitely the people surrounding me are students in pharmacy, students in medical laboratory technology, students in food science. Actually, the, standard, uh, the statistics is that we have 50.46% girls pursuing science engineering related programs at Kabete National Polytechnic. The Guidance and Counseling Unit 
career advisory, industry liaisons, placement units, advise the students of the opportunities that are available. And when we identify such students, we give them an opportunity to change the courses that would actually take them to engineering training programs. We also have a, a very good guidance and counseling unit that is doing mentorship for the students who are already admitted here. This is helping us in mitigating any cases that may want to drop out because of any difficulties. Therefore, we are doing what would ensure that we retain them in those science-related programs, counsel where necessary until they complete their training program.